Hey guys, it's me again. Just doing a little bit of an update video. I wanted to show something. Um, it's been a bit of a busy week, I guess. A lot of things going on. Um, <laughs> many more birthdays and various events. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, another thing that kind of happened. Not kind of happened, but it was it came up was um uh, the, the 22nd, this was past 22nd, March 22nd, um, was the uh, two-year anniversary of my grandfather's passing, and so, <clears throat> um, we weren't able to go on that day to visit his grave, or to do any kind of a get-together with the family, to sort of sell it, to honor, and, you know, remember, um, so, uh, we went over the weekend, and, um, it was really nice, went to the cemetery, visited his grave and a few other people's graves and it was just really nice um... another really big thing that happened over the weekend um... about yesterday I think was um... I... in... in the most easy way to explain sort of um... came out of the broom closet to my mom um... what happened was um... I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I've talked about it a lot before, but um, you know, my my mom knows sort of, and she's just sort of been putting it off and not really talking about it. She's kind of ignoring it, and I'm not really bringing it up. But clearly, you know, I got my altar out, I have my books and things that I order that come in, and I do, and all that stuff. So she knows, but she kind of just avoids it. And um, every once in a while, she would mention it, and she would kind of say how it would make her feel nervous. And so, I just sort of was like, okay, well, then I won't bring it up. And, um, a couple of, two days ago, um, I was putting together a, uh, smudge fan for a, uh, for my own personal use, and it was part of, like, a little assignment for a class I'm taking, but, um, that's another thing I'll make another video about. Um, but, um, <clears throat> so I was making that, and she walked into the room, and she was asking me what I was doing, and I said, oh, I'm putting a, making a little, you know, feather fan, whatever, and she goes, why, what the hell are you doing, you know, little kids do that, little kids play with, you know, with feathers and whatever, and, um, she was like, what are you doing, explain this to me, what is this, and I told her, I said, well, you know what, it's a smudge fan, I told her, how you know, I burn incense, she goes, yeah, Mike, well, you use this fan to blow the smoke around, she kind of looked at me funny, and she looked at my altar again, and looked back at me, and she goes, what are you doing? And again, she's referring to, like, everything, so she's like, what are you doing? And I got kind of upset, and I don't know, well, not really upset, but just sort of fed up with it, and I was like, you know what? Fine. So you really want to know? She said, yes. And I said, okay, let's walk into the other room. So I walked back into the living room, sat down, and I explained it to her. Now, I didn't use, um, I kind of explained it to her as more of a nature-based, um, path, religion, and not so, I didn't really call it Wicca just yet. I mean, I'm going to have to do more explaining later, but I'm going to wait on that for a couple more days. But I basically explained to her, and I said, you know what, I'm not Christian, you know this. She goes, yes you are. I'm like, no, shut up. <laughs> I'm like, I haven't been Christian since before I was born, okay? And um, <clears throat> I kind of explained to her about, you know, the God and the Goddess, and how I was the divine, and um, what basically we celebrate and all that stuff. And um, surprisingly, she took it pretty well. Um, she didn't ask. She asked a few things, but um, it wasn't anything more in, too in depth because she does, obviously she doesn't know, so she doesn't really ask. And I assured her many, many times. I said, "Don't worry, I'm not doing anything evil or bad or stupid." I said, "Don't, don't." And I told her, "I said, dude, you know I'm smart enough to not do anything stupid." And she kind of looked at me and I was, "Yeah, I know, but still," with that little eye. She didn't really say it, but she kind of gave me that look. And so I was like, "Well, whatever." And we sort of had to leave for other things, and so we kind of left it at that. So I'll have to do more explaining in the next couple of days, hopefully to, you know, educate her a little bit further. Um, but on that note, um, I'm kind of really glad it did happen eventually. I mean, like I said, that was going to happen eventually, just a matter of time, and it finally did, so it did. Um, another thing that I want to do right now, since we're kind of talking about it, um, I want to talk about, I want to show you guys my Smudge Fan that I made. It's really, really awesome. Oh, there, well, tipping over. There we go. There it is. It's on my altar. And it's basically a couple of feathers and things that I had.
purchased, um, except for this big one right here, the, the black one right here. Um, the other feathers. Sorry, that's my sister. <laughs> anyway, um, most of the feathers are uh, fake, except for this one right here. This one is real. And it outside. It's my first feather that I found several years ago. And it's just a bunch of feathers. Um, I have a red one in here for a sick representative of my uh, one of my totem animals, the cardinal. For a little homage to that. And then the handle is um, actually an old ruler, <laughs> old wooden ruler that I just sort of cut the end off and wrapped it with a uh, hemp rope that I bought from uh, Michaels. And I had to tape it on actually first. I had to tape the feathers together and then secure them to the uh, ruler. <laughs> but um, I really like it and I had a little bit of an end left over so I tied another feather to it. Another smaller feather that I had. A real feather again. So it's my nice little smudging fan and it works really well. Um, I love it. It's beautiful. It's got all the nice colors and you know all that jazz. So that's sitting on my altar right now. Just sort of picking up its energies and doing its thing. Um, it's actually part of a uh, class uh, homework assignment, so to speak. Mm. I'm taking a uh, class with a couple of friends of mine who, a, uh, who the uh, who um, the circle that I go with, basically. Uh, the High Priestess of the Circle is teaching the class. Um, it's basically a class called um, Elemental Magic. And it's, I'm sorry, hold on, let me sneeze. Okay, guess not, okay. I hate that. <laughs> anyway, um, it's basically called Elemental Magic, and it's um, connecting with the various elements and um, learning about them and how they use them in magic and incorporating them into your practice a little bit more. And part of the thing that we had to learn was making or bringing in something that's uh, representative of that element of what that element represents. So for air, I decided to make a smudge fan. And again, I didn't decide to make it out of the blue, but it was sort of in the back of my mind to make a smudge fan for a while. And I figured, you know what, class is a good opportunity to do it. And it's one of the first, not one of the first, but a couple of the first, this is one of the many things that I've made that um, it might kind of seem half-assed and not really perfect looking, but I love it. It's my own energy. It's things that I really wanted, all bundled together, and it cost me less than five bucks, basically. I mean, the feathers were dirt cheap, hemp was cheap, and I already had a ruler, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, so that's what that was. Um, I think that's all I'm going to talk about for right now. Making, I might make another video tomorrow. I'll have to see. But um, hope you guys are doing really well. Hope you guys have a great, super fantastic uh, beginning of the week, week all together. So until then, bye-bye.